Hey guys, it's Mitchell here, and today I'm going to be doing a breakdown of the Halo Terminal I was in. It's 2v2 Halo Terminal for uh, Marine Corps, military only, and let's get into it. Alright guys, first thing in the breakdown, I just want to call out something. We've now got uh, seven kills here. Guy, these guys named six kills for double six. That's it's a Marine Corps joke. So, a little bit of a... Uh, other than Grunt, but they... Call it pogs. I I understand. Like you don't know it that much, but I just want to call that out real quick. And then let's go ahead and skip. Um, you can see it's me right there. Uh, it's Yaki, and then that's my teammate Eric. This event, Jacob Gem Palmer. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the first game. Uh, my team name is Headhunters. For the first game, my name is 004. Let's get into it. We're loading back in with no time left. Hopefully everything's good this time. It was yeah, it looks like a mess up. As you see, I'm apparently on paper and but I'm just going to head early trade's going to be coming out, and I like that for both squads. Yeah, some great action here. We're seeing a little bit uh, more interesting uh, placement here of the aimer as 005 for head uh, for Paper Ninja winds up getting the first two kills for Paper Ninja. I think I'd rather be a headhunter, if I'm being honest, but that's just me. Although Paper Ninja, Paper Cup is pretty vital. You never know. Yeah, we chose the name For Headhunter sure. because. Right now, Player 5 of Paper Ninja. Um, we chose the name Headhunter because it's something to do with Halo. I don't quite remember. I believe it's Halo 2 or Halo 3. My um, teammate uh, chose it, and that's what we went with. Ninja taking a lot of damage right now. But unfortunately, it is going to be Headhunters that are able to finish things off and turn this one around. It looks like. We are going to be having a little bit of a graphic swap around for you guys. So the Paper Ninja Squad are going to be in the blue. Headhunters are going to be in the red. It's currently... And they just fixed for it the now. Headhunters currently 0-2. He's going yeah, to need to step up for the squad here. 006 for Paper Ninja does have two kills. And they're going to pick up another one here. As it's now four kills to two in favor of Paper Ninja. So they are on, on the lead here. Let's see how it plays yeah, out. Yeah, I wasn't playing real good at the start, guys. I'm still Hunter getting used to it. Needs to get some kills here, and they can't trade. Remember, that's not a way to come back. Yeah, I mean, right now you can see Paper Ninja. They're trying to get control of the active camo right now. They want to control this area, but no, it's going to be Headhunters. Oh, yeah, they're they're going to be coming in hot, able to land the BR. Right, control this area. Back trying that. to get control of the active camo right now. They want to control this kill. area, but no, it's going to be Headhunters. They're going to be coming in hot, able to land the BR shots, and they're going to be getting control of this camo. And now it's a big question of what are they going to do with it if they just tied up the game 4-4. Four to four. Yeah, the camo can always, always a sneaky and important, just another power weapon strength uh, like anything else. But it's 4-4 four to four now. And like I said, head well, up. Hey, getting a nice Call comeback and kills. Which and I have Paper coming Ninja, up soon. As we follow alongside Headhunter, they are maintaining the up top area. Paper Ninja trying to sneak in through the blue utility. But some nice grenades are going to bounce Headhunter apart. Just died, so and double O uh, seven is picking up the kill here. And it looks like they could I get both. I got a kill there. Uh, I just got killed. But double O six will beat him up. So two in favor of Paper Ninja as they've taken the lead against six down. spot. Yeah, right now I like what I'm seeing out of both of these squads. It's a lot of back and forth, and that uh, that could tell me that we got a good series on our hands, and I'm excited for that. I mean, the last one, it was a little bit of a stop, so the fact that these teams are already going back and forth the way they are, I'm definitely excited for how this one's going to be playing out. There's a lot of shots are coming in right now, and player number six of Paper Ninja trying to play his life as best he can. Headhunters now doing a good job of coming through. They are able to take out six, looking to take out seven, and they're going to do just that off. as the Headhunters now take the advantage. We're now up eight to seven. Double O five here, 20. trying to hover around this okay, invisibility and trying to make sure he picks it up. This is a great two v two. This is such a strong, strong power up to have. But some shots. That's what I'm talking about. Sitting there on blue plat is double O six, and he's getting a nice shots from the middle. Really safe, being back in the base, and that's the advantage of playing that line of sight, the base line of sight. As Headhunter doing a great job on the other side, just staying up here, top carbine. And landing some quality shots, giving 004 some room to breathe. For sure, I really like what I'm seeing right now out of this headhunter squad. They're playing smart, they're playing yeah, their I'm life sorry. well. 
There it is, gonna be Paper Ninja. I don't play well. Nice start one. Talking about yeah. the team the shots coming in. Game. A nice trade. Uh, be coming out from Head well. Hunter to answer right on back. And now we got ourselves a 1v1 BR battle. Who's gonna be winning this one? And now it's a 2v1. You can see Head Hunter using that teamwork. Make sure that they That's got how two we kind of want to play. We just want to play on one. teamwork. Like it. it doesn't matter, like, what? We just want to make plays on teamwork. down to bottom planners. As the t uh, backup from Headhunter comes trade. on through, 005 um, does pick up one. Team. That's what Nine we to seven do. as Headhunter, kind of playing the slow game, right? They're just hanging around top mid. They're not over committing to any one side. They're able uh, to see the me, I didn't know where kind of respond out. to where the fire comes from, as they've noticed it's coming from yellow base. And 007 went swinging up a nice kill. kill. 004 trade. will trade out here, but he is weak, so shot coming out. Rotating around the corner, and just like that, 007 is out. Yeah, he dipped on out of there, and smart, smartly up from him. Honestly, uh, you want to be able to play your life, especially in the Slayer. You want to play it out so well. Going for the back smack, not able to land it. Oh, not able to land it third time. Not the charm. Finally, they are going to be cleaning him up. Kill him really so, wow, that one took much longer than expected, and, and there he is. Player number five gonna be answering right on back for Headhunter. Now they have a three kill advantage right now. Active camo is gonna be in the hand of player five on Headhunter as well. Sidekick in hand. VR shots coming out. Yeah, he is able to get the kill, but not before he does get traded out. They are halfway to victory. You guys hear it there. 13 kills to 10. Yeah, more importantly, the Invis popped out of one of the dead bodies, which means it's right there inside right. Blue Utility on the door. And I don't think any of these players know that the Invis is down on the ground. They didn't pick it up. Blue Team might have might have been the one to lose it. They might have been the one to pick it up. But it's right there. Actually, that's Yellow Utility. And it's right there sitting on that side. So they're, they're talking about the camo, like everyone in the tournament plays this nice game. We got six, second place, and I've never played Halo Infinite before. Eleven to four. I've never played Halo Infinite, and before this, the last Halo I played was Halo Four, and I, didn't, I skipped Halo Five, and I never even played this one either. But that was like ten, eight years ago, somewhere in between there. I've never played a Halo that long, and so I just went with it, and. That's like, I feel, I feel like that's how everyone else is in tournament. Nobody really liked playing Halo, so they said, well, fuck it. Um, I'm going to go for it. Hopefully, I win. That's how I think a lot of people win. Yeah, right now. Great spot to be in if you are head on. A massive kill coming yeah, in for Paper Ninja, but it is going to get traded <laughs> out. And at this traded. point, trades are good if you are Headhunter. You're up by four. You need eight in order to win it. Yeah, but it's 16 or 12. Eight, excuse me. You need nine in order to win it at this point. So right now, player number four going to be dipping on out of here. Dodging these bullets. And you can see both squads right now. And they playing their platforms wisely. Player number four oh, trying to low. challenge across, but that is not going to be the brightest idea. Yeah, just because the guess what? These low. players in Paper Ninja, they're not missing right now. I'm going to take a guess right now. I'm going to say player four is the mouse and keyboard player. I yep, I was the only mouse and keyboard player, player, player in the tournament. Everyone else was on Nice player kill right there. Player four is going to be able to... Yeah, and, and that's going to give them a five kill advantage now. Only needing seven left in order to secure victory. Kill. I don't know what's fuck that shit was. As we're seeing some damage coming out from 004. It's on top of the flat though. Nice use of the thruster. 004 tries to get away, but 007 with the nice cleanup. 005 trying to rotate, and right now Headhunter is pushing the strategy of, of full trade. Because they know they have the lead, and they know it's going to be in their favor. That is unfortunate. That puts them at a six point lead. Oh boy. I mean, and that's that is unfortunate. Right now, Headhunter is dominating. They're getting close to victory. Oh yeah, extremely unfortunate right now for sure. Only five I mean, remaining the time, on the other side, the Paper Ninja. Up. They've got to go on an 11 to four run. And that's not impossible, but it's just extremely difficult, except especially the way the Paper Ninja, the Headhunter, have been playing out their trades, been playing together. I mean, the squad, they've been looking like they can get all these trades. They're trying to get one right now, but no. Paper Ninja, answer back in a major way. And they need to do that a couple more times if they want to get back into this one. Yeah, that's exactly the perfect 
team rotation right there. You saw the leading man clean up the first kill. He jumps off to the side of the screen. Second man, 006, comes in and winds up finishing off that kill, sacrificing his life for the better of the team. And just like that, the two kills lead to a perfect placement as they wind up picking up the invisibility as well. And look, see now, this is a problem. Use that invisibility. He's dead in there, he's dead in there. Great name. Use the invisibility, 007, Please. See, and, and now it's down again. I mean, and, and, and I, it's not going to be picked up once again. Oh. We're losing a lot of value. <laughs> we just kind of realized we, have, we can only die three yeah, more I mean, times you know, if uh, we don't get a kill. And we just have we just play time. And uh, maybe they just are not aware <coughs> that that the, uh, the active camo is going to be dropping down right there. But either way, it's a three-point game right now. It's Paper Ninja trying to get back into this one. You can see player six going to be looking over that active camo, which is going to be up in about 15 seconds. So these players on Headhunter right now are able to pick up one kill on the far side, and that's massive. Leaving player number six in a 1v2 situation. He's going to be challenging them both at the doors. This might not be the best plan, especially with the Needler in hand. And that's going to be Headhunters coming out victorious yet again, 23 to 18 this time. Wow, fantastic stuff. 1-0 you know, first series. Paper uh, Ninjas, they right had there. so many opportunities. They Their had this two separate times uh, that they did not use. And at one point, they were rolling that they have super solid. Your pink side right into the get out game pretty much the entire right. way through if you want to hang with it you can't let it get out of hand and we're gonna see if it's gonna be getting this out of where hand it does get right up now this would be 10 minutes, 25 killing, but it's once that to 12 minutes we'll see coming down um, here pink side points. right into the top of the seat going to be nice grenade though coming out they from the head hunters first. line them and dine them that was easy money that we like to say but another trade gives headhunter the early 2-1 and paper ninja they gotta be careful around getting, like you said, Rome, the four or five kill mark. Let's see if they can stay away from it. Rocks are coming up. Oh, they were just, just picked up, excuse me. Ooh, but it is gonna be 007 with the big play. The trade's coming out on the other side with, from yeah, the Rockets of Headhunter. So, I mean, Headhunter yet again, controlling the sandbox, controlling the map. They're up four to two already. I, I mean, they're playing super solid right now. I love what I'm seeing come out from this team. I mean, they, 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 they're, like you said, solid, right? Uh, astute is a good word for this team. They don't take a lot of risks. They play together. They make sure they go for the... They keep it long range, I've noticed. They like the Team BR. Um, as we're seeing right here, 007 coming outside, moving over to PD. Some nice call-outs from Paper Ninja. They will get two shots on 007. Oh, could clean up 006. It is a trade down low. We didn't see that on the screen. But just like that, it's tire side, Somebody 007, uh, on the back of A with 004 pushing in here. This contest fight's going to be a big fight. 004's got to be on mouse and keyboard. We need, I need to confirm. He has to be the one. I, I, if he's on controller, I like the way he's playing. If he's on controller, that's impressive. Sadly, I was not enough, controller. Enough. I mean, there are a few players not that play on either. extremely high sense on controller uh, with Halo. Uh, I am definitely not one of them. I definitely play <laughs> on my grandpa's sense, but it works for me. So, I mean, everyone has their own thing that works for them with Infinite. That's what's great about it. So, I mean, if he is on mouse and keyboard, big props to him. Yeah, so I, mean, I was the only yeah, person on mouse and it, keyboard. I mean, hey, I'm, I'm a, a fan. I'm a fan. That's for sure. Um, as we're seeing a nice engagement, bottom side, A side. And when I say bottom side A, just for more of the casual kill. viewer at home, I'm referring to where the hill would be placed if we were playing that coveted game at, uh, mode of domination. And so when I say bottom, what happened here is my teammate was using a controller that wasn't that he was brought his own controller, and so his cord was messed up. So we had somebody run so they go to buy another cord because we couldn't get an, another cord. And so you'll see during this match, uh, double of five, my teammate. Just stand still at random times, and sometimes yeah, it's a bit weird. Bottom A or top A or you know so on B. That's where the hill would be on the map in the domination variant. Precisely as you can see right now, it's going to be Paper Ninjas. They have been able to find the lead, answering back. They're moving over toward this C stronghold right now, which is where you see player number five with the rockets trying to line up this far shot. Not able to connect though. Still has rockets in his back pocket. One bullet left in that rocket. Will he be able to land them? That's the question is right now. 
He's just debating on when to fire this one, trying to line it up. And he gets, gets the double! Nice. Beautiful oh. play coming out of player five in Paper Ninjas. Yeah, nice little wow, double kill there. amazing stuff <laughs> right the there. Roger. Quality rocket. And I love what I'm seeing here. Why? Because Paper Ninja have the rockets. And what has happened now? Paper Ninja has the lead. So and that is no surprise to me whatsoever. They were hanging in it without using any power weapons. Now they have the yeah, Stalker the Rifle top of me. They use that bottom rocket, the Stalker Rifle. This is a controller player. We can see the controller here, the slow aiming. We know this is a controller player. I, I'm i going to say that Headhunter is as a creep up here, top pink. Uh, they, they can come back, but we got to see some power weapon control we saw in the first game because so far, Paper Ninja flipped the script. Oh, for sure, and a big props to the Paper Ninja squad. I mean, it's extremely hard to be able to turn things around as quickly as they did. I died there. Still, gonna be finding some nice shots as the Stalker Rifle is gonna be in hand of this Paper Ninja squad. So you do want to be careful as the Stalker Rifle can be so good at shutting these players down when they're trying to go for this Spanker. You can see that Spanker is about to be up. Let's go ahead and see this one right now. Both these squads right now coming in a hot 9 to 6 advantage. That's going to be a double rocket kill, did. though, coming out. And that is massive for the side of Paper Ninjas, bringing this one closer. As we did just real quick flip those names at the top. So now we are going to be having the Headhunters currently up by one. Paper Ninjas currently yeah, down by one name now. in this one. Uh, top seat control here for Headhunter. As they wind up connecting, and it's they 10 to 8 them. here as kill. Headhunter in blue, Paper Ninja in red, for clarification. 7 minutes and 16 seconds, so plenty of time left in this one. But this game is still close regardless. I'm loving what I'm seeing from USO Agent 006 on Paper Ninja. They're carrying the team with 6 kills. Oh, big time. Big props to this squad for sure. You can see Stalker Rifle is going to be a man of player number 5 of Headhunter. He's going to be whipping that shot. Looking for another one, though. Going to be heading over to the balcony. Rock down the middle of the map. Pretty and he's going to be met with a rocket to the face. And that was a beautiful play coming out of the paper ninja. Be able to bring this in one. Ooh, now going to be tying the game. Wait, we get ourselves yeah. an extremely close yeah, one. Yeah, I, just, I, know we're coming down. I don't know. Yeah, this is exciting stuff. As I'm <laughs> oh, my bad. Liking this, some strafe action while shooting in and out. Okay, oh, 007 with a clean kill for Paper Ninja and a double kill. 007 running and gunning, good. meleeing, beatdowns. He's got the whole repertoire out here as it's now a two-point kill lead for Paper Ninja. This is their first lead of the of the set. Yeah, 007 just went absolutely massive for his squad right there on Paper Ninjas to be able to regain this lead. I mean, props to this squad right here. I mean, now... With the spanker up in a few seconds, you can see the high ground going to be controlled by the paper ninjas. And now they're going to be fighting for their lives, but it is going to be the headhunters to get the better of them. Spanker is going to be in the hands of one of these players, but no, it is going to be the headhunters that get control of the spanker, get control of the, the kill feed as well. This is a tie game, but they've got the rocket. Yeah, rockets are not a tie game because you're going to get a kill at least with one in this 2v2 game mode for sure. Let's see how it plays out, though. 12 to 12, that timer now encroaching down to just under 5 minutes and 30 seconds. As minutes. USO 006 pushes inside Arcade, comes on out down towards PD, and actually it's Headhunter who get called out and seen coming up Pink Street. And this is going to be a really big engage. Rockets do get used. One kill taken kill. up here for 005. He winds up blocking up one to give Headhunter the lead, and he will pick up 006 as well. Two kills and the Bulldog. Headhunter are in prime position to walk away with this one. Wow, massive plays coming out of Headhunter to flip this one Which around. Picking up four more kills in a row. And, and right now, you can see player five with the Bulldog in hand. He is not going to be letting up. He's going to be looking for these players. Heading up toward this B-Stronghold. He's going to be coming up right behind a player. Opting to Bulldog him instead of the Spanker. But he spots the second player as well. Going to be turning around. Can he land the shots? Ooh, yes. He picks up the double kill. Massive play for player number five coming out of Headhunters. He's sitting at 12-6. and six. 
That's exactly what I was referring to. It was 14 and 12. I said they're set up to win the game because Bulldog is going to lead to kills. More kills are going to lead to another rocket spawn, which is going to lead to the game. And exactly there we saw now a two, a four kill lead, a two team life kill lead. And once again, from the blind side, this Bulldog will fire very far away. These shots will connect. Double uh, four, finding kill. one here for Headhunter, yeah, finding kill. two. And oh my, oh my, Headhunter right, in the driver's six, seat to take this match, this match. Timmy Alright, and hey, this one is going to be coming down to the wire headhunter right now. They only need seven more kills in order to advance in this tournament. I mean, Paper Ninjas, props to them. They've been putting in work so far in this series, but they've got to clutch up right here and clutch up in a major way. Headhunters right now playing their lives extremely well, able to get the beat down as well. Nice with from the shotgun and now they have and rockets in his hand. Died again. Right, he's locked up with these dynamo grenades as well. Forward. You can see player 5 just going to be playing his life, playing his communication. That's exactly what you need to do right now for this squad. He's going to be waiting to hop on up here and help his teammate out. As you can see, he's got the cover for him. Now they're going to climb on up and look at the get up in here and make and something I happen. Died. But no, it is going to be player number 6 that ends up winning that one out. For the side of ninjas, the answer back coming in. He's going to be able to win this engagement, and it looks like it is going to end up going the way of Headhunters. So, I mean, hey, 21 to 13 advantage coming out of them. Only four kills remaining. Yeah, line to the team. Game. Bulldog leads to what? Secondary rocket. What did they get? Secondary rocket. Leading to more kills once no, again no in the driver's seat to win the game. 21 to 15. Paper Ninja can come Warning back, left. but it will all be predicated on whether they pick up this next rocket spawn and play together right here as the engagement 005 comes up the side. This should be a free kill by Paper Ninja and it'll stagger the enemy team. Very important here. Let's see if they pick it up. Oh, oh, he's got to die. He's got to die. And nice little trade. Trade is going to be coming out at this point. Him. You want all the trades if you're the side of Headhunter because you only have two more kills remaining before you are going to be moving on to round number two. You can see these players, they're going to be lining up these shots, looking for them, throwing those grenades out. Time they're going to be able to pick up things. the kill. Unfortunately, though, this side and Paper Ninja is trying to answer back as best they can, yeah, picking up two to answer back, and now we got ourselves a five-point game. I mean, it's doable. might not be impossible. No, it's not. It's definitely not impossible. That's for sure. But it's 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 go. looking grim. I mean, here comes those rockets. Game. They are up, and that timer has been exposed. As the winner, our headhunter for the second time, two zero win. Yeah, two zero win. So yeah, pretty nice. I mean, hey, shout out to headhunters. You know, there is that ten minute time limit. So hey, once that thing hit the two minute, we don't need to go out there. Yeah, it's gonna be good stuff and. Uh, you know, always shout out to the USO. Fall in their semifinals, but that's they certainly showed us up. So we could next, be seeing the next, same for Taco you know, next, Tuesday here, Paul. Going, it's just Taco Tuesday. Very possible. And just by eyes. the team name alone, immediately voting for them to win the entire thing. Immediately voting for them to win the entire tournament. Um, I mean, in all, in all seriousness, we'll, we'll see pretty quickly... <laughs> You know what the skill set remaining is going to look like because now we know what the ceiling is, uh, and, and that's Team Mill. I believe so. Nice high side blast onto Headhunter, who's poised on the back side of that glass, heading towards long haul. Invisibility still up. We saw that on the HUD just there on the bottom left. That gold icon. Invisibility has been up, and I like this change of pace rotation. As Headhunter forced to pinch out into the back of glass and rotate into long haul. Good nade though before they the yes play. So this game I am double oh nine. Right I'm now, Taco, two one day. one. Up to two to one. They do have the energy sword still in hand, just trying to play passive right now. Both of these squads right now playing extremely passive. Playing their lives very well. And I mean, the way these teams are playing it right now, it's pretty much gonna come down to time at this point. I mean, if you're gonna be playing this passive. <laughs> I mean, that's just not going to be uh, not going to be all that great for the team that's down because right now Taco Tuesday find power. themselves with the advantage, and I mean, if they get a couple more kills here, really they can just slow the pace of this game down and just really have that time be their best friend. Absolutely, and they're looking strong here. Um, they're playing very well, up four to one, approaching that three plus life limitation around there. But now they find themselves Taco Tuesday pinned top glass side. 
And, you know, this is an okay position, but there's a lot of ways to get attacked from it. You can go inside Turbine, you eat shots from top A like Headhunter's doing now. But Headhunter's got to find some kills here as Taco Tuesday looking to engage inside Turbine and push up top A. Oh, that's a great grenade. Not to finish him off, though. Shield's going to be going down. And the grenade to finish off. The player on Taco Tuesday, and now he's trying to get the energy sword and come back to yeah, finish him one. off, but he wasn't able to. So Headhunters able to answer right on back, and now they only find themselves down one. This was the answer that the squad needed. But as I stated, time is definitely so this going game goes to be running two to out one. Pretty, I know that. Uh, pretty quickly. Usually you want to see about six kills a minute coming in for one team, and or six kills every, uh, every couple minutes at least if you don't want to uh, run out of time and you know both of these squads right now are definitely under that pace for sure yeah and and and, and so they're all playing defensive the other thing that's kind of interesting is that literally uh, the invis has been up since the start of the game and has just been picked up around the 915 mark which makes me think that you know not too much emphasis are being uh, placed on the power weapons from either team you know you never oh, invis right behind him oh my him. goodness he didn't see him Oh, and that is going to be Headhunter coming up big, answering yeah. right on Any back, pressure? tying this one up 5-5. Five to five. But yeah, the player walked right past him with the camo. Man, I, I mean, they're lucky right he didn't have an energy one. sword in hand because that definitely would have been a nice double kill. As we see, M3 now here for Headhunter. Nice ward off of that yellow hallway with grenades. Taco Tuesday trying to get situated. They do have access to the... Shock rifle, which is what we're staring no at here. They even is. grab that um, grappling hook. It's going to give them a nice opportunity. Good attempted shots here. Ooh, oh, there's a one connection cool. from M10 as he winds up picking up a headshot. Both members go down, and Headhunter finds themselves back in it. Uh, Taco oh. Tuesday, excuse me. Two big kills come out, and this game is actually nice one in favor of Headhunter. Wow, Headhunter's playing great this game. This game is super, super close right now. Squads playing so tight knit. Yeah, that was bad. That is going to be Taco Tuesday time. Things up in seven apiece now. It's already time wise. Once it gets down to two minutes, the game is over, ladies and gentlemen. It is a 10 minute timer on the clock. Yes, the total is 12. We are only going to be playing the first 10 minutes of it. You can see right now, player number three trying to make it. some pressure happen and is going to be able to Not do bad. so with the help of his teammates. So, Headhunters going up by two kills now, answering right on back, taking this lead back from Taco Tuesday. Yeah, and right now, I mean, you know, I got to be honest here. I'm, I'm, Wow, Ooh, what a grenade That's from a Kobe. M3. Throws it deep here. Headhunter connects, and they're taking a yeah, three. Yeah, we were crazy. It's not quite really right nice. I don't know. We might see the first game three here of the tournament in the lower half of the semifinal. Nice shot by Headhunter, who looks like they're starting to warm up. Oh. Yeah, big time. The VR shots are starting to connect for sure. The trade going to be coming out right there for Headhunter. They're still going to find themselves up by four. Feeling good right now. As they find themselves at the halfway mark in this game. We're also halfway in the time. So as I as I stated early on, if the kills don't start to pick up for either one of these squads, it is going to be a matter of the clock. Yeah, and right now Invis up once again. No pain, uh, attention paid to it. It's going to be a tied in though. This will connect. Nice kill. M3 does find one. Jumps over the back corner. And he does kill. trade out, but. Still, that it works in favor of Headhunter. Is me trying to figure out how to pick it up. Kill, nice lead, and as of right now, we could be going to a game three. Headhunter playing impressive as they've controlled, uh, uh, sitting here top control for most of the match. No one is though. Oh, for sure. And right now, I mean, this squad is on Tuesday. No, no I did not see whatsoever. him. Oh, unfortunate. Man. Now I think he understands that he did just walk past him. All right, here we yeah. go. So these these players, man, I, I gotta say, definitely interesting to watch. Needler in hand of M10. They're currently down by five kills. Looking to answer right on back. Yeah, the commentators do talk bad about Needler a lot. That's because Needler shots are going to be coming me, out. Like we were only using Needler because back then the Needler was OP, and we didn't know much. This kill. Headshot's gonna be landing, and yes, he's gonna be picking up the double kill. As the energy sword did miss. Taco Tuesday answering back, picking up two big ones that they needed. 
Now he's got to find himself a rotation to the Invis right there. That's the power play. His teammate just grabs Invis the second the two guys were dead. Um, that, you know, that really helps out their team getting that Invis. It's still up on the map. And in fact, we've now encroached under five minutes. And that Invis has only been used one single time, which... I mean, luckily for Headhunter, they're they're making it work without it, but got to get on that Invis. Yeah, I mean, and this is the thing. I mean, if you don't know about the Invis now, whoever does win this, I can guarantee you Team Mills is going to teach you all about the Sandbox in the next round for sure. So who knows? Maybe these teams just opt to say, you know what? We're, neither one of us are going to use the active camo. We're not even going to touch it. Straight up gun skill. Let's see who's better. But I mean, I honestly doubt it. It's, kind of what we did. it's a lot on the line right now between them and... It's going to still be a headhunter with this five kill advantage now only needing nine remaining in order to send us to our first map and number three six, of this day. Nine and five. Yeah, and you know, if I'm headhunter, I'm playing with an extreme sense of urgency here. There's money on the line, and this is a, has only been a couple hour tournament. So to take home two, three, six hundred bucks, that's not a bad play, uh, payday for playing some Halo uh, Infinite for a couple hours uh, and getting some showtime on Twitch. So. Here, this has been some amazing gameplay. Taco Tuesday only four kills out of it now, but what is going on with the Needler today? I, I, what is, what, where is this coming from? Because I'm not. I don't know, man. The uh, right now the players, I mean, they're feeling like the Needler's an A1 gun the way they're, the way they're picking it up and trying to use it right now. But hey, listen, I like the aspirations. Let's see, uh, see, maybe some new meta coming out in the USO today. Who knows exactly? But I mean, either way, we got ourselves a three kill game. Taco Tuesday trying to come back into this one. They were down five. Bringing it back slowly. If they can win this exchange right here, might be able to get right back into this one. Grab the play to get the flank behind on these already weak players. They get the mm. early trade. Now the question is, can this other player get traded out? Yeah, I died. Low. Looks like the answer is definitely no for we now. Get, that's going to be Ed Hunter landing all the BR shots. Give him the perfect as they're going to be going up by four. Feeling good. And I'm um, negative right now. So Great man. job here by uh, Headhunter. They're just starting to fire off at the right time. They're four kills ahead now. It's not out for Taco Tuesday. Taco Tuesday's got to get a little situated. They're running around a little bit too much, and they're not winning these trades. They're not coming away with any positive points on the board. They've got to be able to stay alive and win the battle, which is not the easiest of things to do, but it's how they're going to climb back into it. Invis still has not been touched, by the way. Second time is 235. It is still on the map. There's no way they don't see it. They definitely play Halo. I'm no, nobody in the tournament played Halo except the team that won. I mean, remember, there's only the about 25 seconds remaining on the clock, remember? So uh, so this one right now, Headhunter, they have a four-point lead with only 20 seconds remaining simply because of the timer. So the squad and Taco Tuesday, they're going to need to make something happen now. But that's easier said than done as Headhunter are going to be coming in, Man, getting the, the final kills of the round. And with only a few seconds remaining... This one is going to be heading to a game number three. Oof, our first one of the night. I'm excited for it. Yeah, what a great showcase there. Taco Tuesday wins the first one, loses the second. Game three on its way. <laughs> I was happy. Oh, wait, I skipped a game. We did we did play a game fours, but we did lose. I think we skipped it. Man, that's me. I like, really fucked up because I had to get a fucked up haircut because someone important was coming in Mark. But yeah. CCS Recreation Center Halo Infinite 2v2 tournament. We didn't realize we were on the screen until right like we the seen... They got the win, you know, feeling good. Uh, and, you know, now it's just going to be all about coming right on roommate. back and, you know, regroup and readjust <coughs> because we're going to map number three. It's going to be good. It looks like we are going to be going to Aquarius. So it's going to be fun seeing exactly how these teams are going to be able to play this one. There's no place to hide. This is the smallest map we got. It's going to be extremely fun. <laughs> I love this here. Some showmanship to the camera. This is my favorite part about esports. So it's we take a look so also around Aquarius, uh, but one. But it looks like that's going to be it. Oh. This one might be bad. <laughs> we can at least uh, assume here that this. is... Oh yeah, big time. I mean, only eight. We can't be pushing it down, but I'm. Yeah, question mark left quickly. Oh, just after. Three plus life. Oh wait, no, I don't think it showed because I think I don't think it showed because we were playing while they they're playing as well. I think able to stay alive and win. Assume that they. So it was one one. Yeah. Also the uh, dynamo. So Doctor Tuesday All definitely right. on their heels. 
I picked up the uh, invisible, didn't know what I was going to no, so They used bait the and but then we'll go home. will get burned, and the first kill will go over to Headhunter. As this team fire looks to come out here. And Headhunter, you know, sometimes it's better to be hot going into the playoffs than starting out the season. And Headhunter looks quality coming out of this first game. You can t I can already sense a, a sense of aggression with Taco Tuesday. Sitting back, more defensive, looking to get some of that team fire action. So good practice on both sides. For sure, is right now. Yeah, it's Beach Hunter. Really definitely going to be coming out, and he's going to go ahead and lay down the beat down, but not before Taco Tuesday and company are going to be cleaning things up. So two to two situation right now, because we got ourselves yet yes, another two to even two. game. I mean, uh, these squads right here have just been battling it out, going back and forth this entire time, and that's really what you want to see. You want to see these squads having this even close game to give us an awesome matchup because, I mean, let's be honest, we don't want to see a bunch of stomps. We want to see some close games, and, I mean, that's... Some nice last words. That's exactly what we're getting right here. It's two or two. Yeah, we want yeah, to see some, some close games. Okay. US no, we, we, we know what the people want. And top mid control has been deemed worthy to taco Tuesday, but it's a crossfire we action know from headhunter. We know what people want. It gives him a three to two lead. A stupid game. And, I just and be like, once hell one sided. Taco Tuesday, fighting down. And this is this line of sight that I was talking about before. On another note, holding that top plat, being able to see the entire upper area into the utility of the other base is so valuable. And headhunter maintaining dominance. Taco Tuesday having to retreat back to, uh, to blue side base. Right now, 3-2 advantage right now. Very slow pace coming out of these squads. You'd expect a lot of fast-paced action, but that's just not the yeah, case. Nice it is going to be Headhunter. And this is probably my best game I've ever that. played. Able to pick off one player on Taco Tuesday. And at the right time, as they find themselves having the advantage on this small map, Aquarius. I mean, we talked about how it would be fast-paced, but the pace has really been extremely slow. These squads are being extremely methodical right now in how they're approaching each other. Yeah, and you know, maybe that's why we didn't see the Invis get picked up. Yeah, maybe we just start. Are baiting invis no, we weren't baiting Invis. No we just didn't care for it. At some point, you would pick it up, but maybe if no one went for it, they just kind of leave it on the map as a telltale. You know, who's silly enough to pick it up? Because no here is when exactly you, where you we start to camp. To be honest with you, we do start to camp. But top mid control here for Taco Tuesday. I gotta but kill there. In a bad place as they're getting cross shot here from both top flat. Well Team, we got a kill there. Beat down comes down. It is six to two. Six kills. They now have a four kill lead. Picking up Thruster. Actually, they have a Viz. Forget Thruster. And this is going to be another kill here as a blind side comes out. Taco kill there. Tuesday is in trouble. Five kill lead for Headhunter. Yeah, they definitely are. I mean, Headhunters right now looking extremely good. Five and one right now. Coming out of player nine already. So I mean, as you yeah, stated, I mean, I've popped off this game. Official coming off the break, uh, being able to start this one so cleanly. And still having that active camo in hand. We get to see if they're going to be able to do something with that right now. Taco Tuesday, they've got to figure something out. Right now, that's going to be a beautiful shot. Coming in from Headhunter, and they're going to be cleaning killer. up both. Picking up two, and that's a 9-2 advantage. I don't want to say it's over already, but, I mean, you have a 7-point lead. This is massive. You only need 16 more kills to secure this game. Yeah, I mean, Looking impressive to say the least. And a lot of issues. Oh, nice use of the pistol there, but it won't be enough. Three to ten. And I'm gonna the kill there. Over here, Seven and one. Nice and warm. They're playing exactly to the T as they did last set. And this is just working out in their favor as they're maintaining utility dominance, staying on top of top plat, uh, no matter which side of the map they're on. And they're located on quickly. one side, though. So, great stuff here. Head up there as they're just going, putting, leaving it all on the board. So I'm going down. Sure, I, mean, so I know they're going right down over there. Right but over the right, and I was like, squad. All right, cool. They're going to be here. Together as a squad perfectly. Killed him. Needler not going to be able to do work for the side Teammate of Taco. Tuesday, the grenade going to be Eight coming out as one. well, cleaning up everyone on the side of Taco. And this Taco is just falling out of its shell as they are currently down 10 kills right now. Only 12 left remaining for Headhunter to be able to secure this one and secure themselves at least $400 as a team, guaranteeing themselves top two. And this game was semifinals as well, which uh, this is the problem. We, when, two, at this point, I was so happy. To fall down ten kills and we're ten kills up. Back into it. So right here, we're seeing you know call out into blue utility. Taco Tuesday sitting. Plat. Another both bottom right. Excuse me, head on to sitting plat on the call out for Taco, and now they're down under the They're kind of stuck. Taco Tuesday is 
Okay, we got a kill there. We got a kill there. And then it came in though. Even with the four and a half minutes left on the clock, 12 point lead, Headhunter is playing this one actually really, very well. Oh yeah, big time. I mean, you can see that they definitely turn things around from game one. The communication is there, and that's what you want to see as a squad adapting and adjusting. Yeah, we played really well. This, they're doing this just that. As they have a 12 point lead right now. I mean, this squad just looking absolutely insane. I mean, M10 currently one and nine. This is just a different M10 player than we saw. Uh, in the last game, I mean, he was putting up a lot better numbers for sure, and I mean, now it's just utter domination coming in from Headhunters. There's only three and a half minutes remaining. The squad and Taco. My bad, they're going to be met with utter aggression. Headhunter coming in clutch, trying to switch to the side to finish him off, but no, it's going to be the side to talk to Tuesday before they get traded out. So it's a 17 to 5 lead coming in for the side of Headhunter. And you know, I'm really, now I'm really curious, even more so, about how Taco Tuesday won their first set because they don't really look as strong. However, I will say I've noticed Taco Tuesday play a lot more uh, upbeat. The last couple minutes of the game, the more extent that there's some bad grenades by me. It's kind of terrible grenades. Heads or kind of back off the pedal a little bit from that first map, but I mean, from the last two that we've seen, Headhunter is just been a better team. Yeah, I mean, overall, you know, one squad definitely going to be flexing their muscles, and it looks like Headhunter decided to do that. Yep. <laughs> sure right now. I mean, That's popping nine, off here. Nine and two. Oh, I think this is where it is. Yeah, I killed him. So, I mean, the squad right now, Teammate died. I'm one shot to the head. Disgusting. This guy, I just killed him. Out of player nine, and he's gonna... Right there, I screamed at the top of my lungs. My dick is fucking massive. I'm not even joking. I just scream so fucking loud. This shit was funny. Get the second to boot. I mean, uh, this squad is just looking absolutely incredible. And now, only five kills away from heading on to the grand finals. I think that it's safe to say that we got ourselves a headhunter versus Team Mills grand finals. And I couldn't be happier about it. Me neither. Me neither. Good call right there because, you know, these are the two best teams on the day. Not only do they deserve the spot, they do right, start to come up here. We'll get to see it they do like start to come back. So, but it's not as good. Say, you know, Best name, I gotta give you kudos. Best name. It is Tuesday. Tournament. Well, I can't wait to get some tacos myself. I will do so after this is over just because of your name. So, massive credit. But this one's going away ahead, Hunter. They're just playing fantastic. This tournament, yeah, this tournament was played on Tuesday. Yeah, precisely right now. This player in M3, even though he's low, still able to take out one before he does eventually get traded out. So, active camo in the hands of M10. Finally, they are going to be starting to use this sandbox. A little bit more to their advantage. Sidekick in the back pocket of M10 as well. Right now, down 13 kills with only a minute and a half remaining. I mean, I would say it's possible, but I just don't think that's the case. Not, no, no, no. We're not here to live in Dream Street. It's not possible. Dreamland is something where Kirby's from. So, uh, this one here is, is going the way of Headhunter. Like you just said, it's a minute and a half. There's not enough time physically on the clock, especially with the death timer alone taking eight seconds off. So, you know, there's, there's, yeah, we, it's I'm just happy we won Tuesday, this. But, and it, it, it hit me like right when we backed away, like right when we I mean, won, I backed out, with my thing, backed out of my chair. I was like, sure. wait a second, we're in the, the finals. We have guaranteed I mean, money now. <laughs> you know, can't be a better oh, name than that. Oh, I'm just so happy. It's even accurate. That is magic. I love it. It's a great call. Yeah, exactly, right? It's actually Tuesday. Like, it couldn't be better, for sure. Oh, amazing stuff right there. I love it. I just kill here, looking to trade off Pat back flat. 12 kill. For Headhunter, they'll finally get traded, and like I said, yeah, I have more. Ki I have seen my kills than they do their entire team. Finishing off this set, you would have loved to see this aggression and vigor coming out in the beginning of the of the yeah. uh, of the set here, because it's just it's just too late here with 25 left on the clock. Yeah, sometimes a team that plays coy, plays passive, it ends up coming back to bite them. And I mean, Headhunter, now they just got to play time. You can see uh, it's going to be hard to figure out where they're at. Now they find them. They're going to be doubled up in this room, and rightfully so. Headhunter trying to knock them out the park right now as an early trade comes out. But now with right only on, one kill remaining, trading. it's not going to matter because time is going to be their best friend. As it's going to be 24 to 13. Just, Headhunter taking away. out so happy. Tuesday and are going to be moving on to the grand finals.
Made. And I mean, oh, they already right. have the five to win advantage. Oh, we game. always say when you get this game was so bad. Five point lead, it's just going to be all in your favor. You're really able to dictate the pace, whether, seven you here, slow, whether you want to play, play fast. And I mean, yeah, the double squad, seven. Mills, they're doing just that. They're deciding it as they're going to be coming in, able to at least land the. Did, did not play good. Um, we're, me and my team are both one and six, two, twelve, two, one. Yeah, three and the 12. thing is that this team, Mill Squad, they're doing it in fast pace, too. If you look at the time, I mean, there's still a four and a half minutes remaining. So, I mean, with plenty right. of time left on the clock, they only need one more kill left to secure things off. You can see they're even using yeah, the needle. Yeah, just went good. Side. We get two out here. We're double killing. There it is. Team's Mill. Team Mill picks it up. 15 to I'm six. one and nine out. Us and not there doing well. Over. The thing about you clear favor. And they did try to interview these guys, but I'm not pointing fingers or anything. I'm just saying this tournament is for military and like basically Marines only. This guy is the head of Marine Corps Gaming. He's not a Marine. This guy is not a. I don't believe he's a Marine. His hair's too long to be a Marine, and I'm just throwing it out there. He even said like. We, we were talking to them. We we're like, "Hey, are you a pro player?" He's like, "Yeah, I'm trying to. I'm, try, I'm getting there." He's like, "Yeah, this is this is kind of fucked." But yeah, there's that's about it. Hurts and victories. Uh, yeah, they're but this kind of funny. Been, they're trying they to. It. They played fantastic. It wasn't even give close. Give them uh, talking the to them, but of the skill there's no audio from here. This is a team that can that can find themselves competing in a. Yeah, Paul. Uh, Paul, any any main thought? with our MCCS yeah, top. Wasn't it? Right. That'll be it for this video. See you on the next one. Bye.